Hey, you want to have some fun? Well, you've come to the right place. In this micro nugget, we're going to look at having some fun with Photoshop fundamentals. Photoshop has become a household word. Survey your friends. Ask them if they've ever heard of Photoshop. My guess is most will say yes. They may even tell you about a picture they've seen that has been Photoshopped. Everybody's heard of it. Photoshop has become the Kleenex of image editing programs. But ask them if they know how to use this program and I bet you get a totally different answer. You might hear, yeah, I've been meaning to learn it, or Photoshop is for professionals with big budgets who can afford it. Or, I hear it has a steep learning curve and who has that kind of time? Well, whatever the reason, I say no excuse. In today's culture of digital everything, with a picture still worth a thousand words, we can all improve our brand, that is the way people think of you and what you do, and Photoshop is, in my opinion, the best image editing program on the market. So the time is now. Photoshop is for professionals, but let me ask you a question. Whatever field you're in, do you want to be known as not professional? Of course not. We all want to be the best we can in whatever field we're in. Photoshop can give you that competitive edge. Expensive? Not really. 30-day free trial, then $10 a month, cancel at any time. It may be the best investment you ever make. Steep learning curve? Well, it depends. I have no idea how many things you can do with Photoshop, literally thousands. But here's the thing. You can start with the fundamentals and make a noticeable improvement on any image in just a few minutes. That's the beauty of this program. Okay, time to step down from my soapbox. Almost. If you haven't figured it out, I love this program. I've used it since its introduction in 1990. Do I know everything? Not even close. There's so much power and capability under the hood of this software that I'm not sure anyone has mastered all of it. But I can say this. The photos I save from Photoshop are better than the files I import into Photoshop. Make sense? Photoshop is a raster-based image editing software. It takes all the information your computer stores in pixels, you know, those little squares of data which make up an image on your screen, and it gives you access to change and transform to your heart's content. Open an image in Photoshop and you have a wealth of information, all of which can be modified to change size, color, saturation, mode, even the ever-popular black and white photo with one area colorized. It has layers, which is one of my favorites. This is where individual pieces, in our case, ingredients of a BLT sandwich, can be moved and appear to float over the top of another layer underneath. It has selecting, which is kind of choosing individual elements with an image to enhance or change just that image. In this case, we're going to change the appearance of this sign from daylight to nighttime. Image adjustments, wouldn't it be great if every photograph was perfect? But if that were the case, you wouldn't need Photoshop. We can lighten parts of a photo, change any of its color values. In this case, taking out kind of the yellow cast. And for you creative types, we can transform a photograph into a work of art. Bugs destroyed your flower bed? Well, we can repair that image using the clone tool and the healing brush and destruction no more. Nasty fold in the earliest picture of you and your sister together. A little restoration. Fold and scratches, all gone. Want to show the boss a picture of your data center setup? Photo a little crooked? Well, Photoshop can change perspective and straighten it all up. Been meaning to start that diet? Let Photoshop do all the work. This gives the phrase, I lost 40 pounds in five minutes, all kinds of possibilities. There's so much more. Drawing, painting, video editing, web graphics. Photoshop can take the average image and make it award-winning. Maybe that's why people think the program is only for professionals. Well, where to start, where to start? As Glinda the Good Witch in The Wizard of Oz says, 
it's always best to start at the beginning. Learn the fundamentals, the basics, the foundation on which Photoshop is built. How? Take the Photoshop Fundamentals course with CBT Nuggets. All the details on all the examples you've seen and many more are explained step by step. Let's put the fun back in fundamentals. That's all the time we have for now. I hope this has been an informative micro nugget and I want to thank you for viewing.